Hello there, welcome to my first video in which I will show you how I made this FV107 model in 1 to 35 scale. I've also bought some aftermarket decals with E4 markings from Star Decals. The kit also includes a nice metal gun barrel and some photo edge parts. I start by cutting out the pieces with some pliers and then clean them up with a sharp knife. For gluing the parts I use extra thin glue Mr. Cement S. It nicely flows in between parts and creates a strong bond. Go on to create the armor texture. First, I staple the surface with extra thin glue and a stiff brush. Then, apply a layer of modeling putty diluted with the same glue.
I use a 4mm drill bit to bend the photo edge mesh to the right shape. For gluing the exhaust cover, I use ordinary super glue. And now I'm creating the welds. I have to make the grooves first using a sharp knife. I also create the flame cut texture. I just make a lot of small cuts and soften them with Mr. Cement S. For the welds I will be using Tamiya Epoxy very quick type. I combine the two parts and then roll them into thin noodles between two styrene sheets. I push the body into the groove I created earlier and create the texture with my custom made welding tool. It's nothing more than just a piece of aluminum on a toothpick.
need to fill some holes. And for that I use Tamiya Basic Buddy. I want to create a cover for the gun, so I make it from a piece of paper soaked in PVA glue diluted with water. For priming the model, I use Mr. Surfacer 1500 and a cheap Magma TG1 for the airbrush. The primer will nicely unify the surface and also reveal me some imperfections. It is good to cover metal parts with a metal primer, so that paint adheres better to them. Base coat is the mix of AK British Dark Olive Green combined with Tamiya Gloss Varnish and diluted everything with Mr. Level Cleaner. And I spray it with a Hardrange 10 bag Ultra with 0.2mm nozzle and a pressure of around 20 psi. Spray on some highlights with the base coat with a bit of Tamiya yellow green added to it.
spray highlights once again, this time adding cockpit green to the previous mix. For the camouflage I've used a mix of Tamiya, Vlad Black mixed with buff and some gloss varnish. Create AK gloss varnish in places where decals will come to prevent them from silvering. I also used some decals chemicals to help them conform to the surface better. After applying the decals, I spray the entire model with AK Ultra Matte Varnish. I really recommend this product, it's one of the few matte varnishes that actually leaves a fully matte surface after drying. Some of the details need to be painted with a brush, for that I use different shades of Vallejo paints. Thank you. 
I mix my own wash from Abteilung oil paints diluted with enamel thinner. For the green parts I use industrial earth and for the black patches I use sepia. After the wash is dry, I blend it with enamel thinner. I paint each periscope grey and then apply a layer of clear blue to give it a nice cover glass effect. Lights I paint with a chrome silver and later with clear paints. Tank tracks were primed with Tamiya liquid surface primer and painted with NATO brown. Each rubber pad was painted using Vallejo black paint and a small brush. I glued these copper wire antennas off camera.
For the mod, I used this acrylic paste from Ammo. It has a really nice texture resembling real mud, and it also dries long, so we have plenty of time to work with it. After applying it, I blend it with some ordinary tap water. I spray some pre-dusting with a mix of Tamiya Flat Earth, Black and Gloss Varnish. My lamp has decided to die on me for no reason. I then go on to speckle enamel mud splashes from ammo. After they dry a bit, I blend them with enamel thinner in an up and down motion. felt a bit too clean, so I applied some enamel splashes there and blended them. I attach the running gear with some super glue and weather it the same way as the lower hull.
seen the rubber pads with enamel thinner and the cotton bud. And with that out of the way, the model is finished. Thank you for watching and see you next time.